Good morning, Falcons. I'm Gilbert Reyes. And I'm Sarah Nicole. And this is the Falcon Report. Let's head over to FAST. Hey, Falcons. Do you need help in science? Come to room 2613, Mr. John's class for FAST tutoring. Here's Elisa with today's clubs. Good morning, Falcons. Here's what's happening with today's clubs. Culinary Club will meet uh, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, for the next few weeks to prepare for upcoming competitions. If you plan to complete, please make every effort you can to make all the sessions. If you plan to compete and have any questions, please talk to Ms. Cook in her classroom. Clubs that are meeting today are Ecology Club in room 2613, Knitting Club in room 1010, Knowledge Bowl will be in room 2204, Media Week Club meets in the library, and Deca Club will meet in room 1202. That's all for today's clubs. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Due to technical difficulties, today we don't have a teleprompter and we'll have to read off my laptop, so bear with us. Do you feel lucky? Be sure to stop by the library this week and guess how many chocolate kisses are in two glass jars in the St. Patty's display downstairs. The winners will go home with a whole lot of chocolate. Good morning, Good morning Falcons. Falcons. I'm Sean Constant. And I'm Allie Noonan. And today there will be professionals leading a rock painting kindness activity outside the commons during both lunches. One of our own Hanford seniors, Seth Lowry, has been chosen as a finalist for the Better Business Bureau's Student of Integrity $10,000 College Scholarship. Seth's video submission focuses on being aware of online charity scams. Be sure to check out his video by following the link below because the winner of the scholarship will be determined by the number of YouTube views. Viewing count closes tomorrow, March 15th at 11.59 p.m. So be sure to view and share the video before then. Good luck, Seth. Today I am with Grace and Peyton. They just won the World Championships with Hanford High School Cheer. So guys, how does it feel returning home champs? We are so excited. It was such like an amazing experience. And like to, to go to uh, UCA Nationals is like amazing and to like win Worlds was surreal. Uh, yeah. So what was it like getting on the bus thinking and knowing that you were potentially going to do something big. Well, it was like so cool to have like to go on the bus and yeah. have like everyone out in the street. We loved it. So we appreciated it so much. We uh, just love our school. Yeah. It was so like <laughs> them lined out there and cheering us on. It was so fun. Yeah. We yeah. love each other so much. We're so close. Yeah. We're there's no team closer than us. I don't think. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the big win. Thank We're you. all cheering for you. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. A couple of leadership kids are holding a canned food drive. There will be a box in your second period class to put your cans in. The food drive will run all this week. On Friday, all donations will be picked up and taken to our Richland Food Bank. Help make a positive impact in our community, community Falcons. National Honor Society spring packets are due Wednesday, April 11th. This is the first Wednesday after spring break. Only current juniors may submit packets at this time. If you have any questions, see the NHS website or see Ms. Fenton in room 2010. A longer informational meeting for sophomores and juniors interested in National Honor Society will be held on Tuesday, April 20th in Mr. Palmer's room 1610 and Ms. Fenton's room 2010. A final meeting will be held at 2.30 on Wednesday, April 21st in room 2010. Those meetings are optional and provide information on how to compete, complete the packets or how to meet NHS requirements. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all for today. I'm Gilbert Reyes. And I'm Sarah Nicole. And this has been The Falcon Report.